Hey everyone, I'm Marvin, and I'm super excited because I have my own BSF farm now. Let's take a quick tour and what I have in my BSF farm. Welcome to my BSF farm. It's a little bit small, but makes a job. You know that food waste is one of the biggest environmental problems in the world? Millions of tons of food are wasted every year, which leads to pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Can we turn this problem into something useful? That's where black soldier fly farming comes in. BSF larvae are nature's little recyclers. They can break down food waste super fast and make it into something useful. I believe that BSF larvae can help reduce food waste efficiently, but their growth might depend on what type of food they eat. A well-balanced diet could help them grow faster and eat more food waste. This idea led to the creation of my project, Betterfly, from Food Waste to Sustainability with BSF. Let's First, we have the BSF larva bin. This is where the food eaten is happening. The larvae are very hungry and love eating food waste. Next, there's a frass collection area. Did you know that BSF larvae not only break down food waste, but also produce organic fertilizer? This is called frass, and it's great for plants. And over here, I have my food waste storage that I'm about to give to the worms. This is where I prepare different types of food waste and feed before feeding the larva. But which type do they like the best? In this video, we will see. And here are the eggs. This is where um, the BSF flies lay their eggs. And as you can see, there are a lot of eggs here. And under here are some little teeny tiny worms. After they are born, their egg, they will drop in there and can start to live. And here are the pupa, where this is, can also be organizing um, organic fertilizer for the plants. These, these are about to turn into the flies. For my first experiment, I want to measure how much food waste BSF larvae can eat in one day and how fast they grow. Yesterday, I measured the initial weight of the feed, including the larva container which was 1,980 grams. After adding the food, the final weight was 2,300 grams. After 24 hours, we're about to measure again. And let's measure. Here, we turn this on, and then we put this. The weight is one nine. 1,953, as you can see there. And now, it has eaten 400 grams, which is a lot in one day. Now, let's measure their growth. This one is 1.7 centimeters. Oh, 1.9 centimeters, which is almost two centimeters two centimeters and it's also really long. This one is 1.9 centimeters, like 1.95 actually. So this one is also almost two. So now we're gonna get this back here. Now let's find out which type of food waste is best for the BSF larva. I'm feeding them three different diets. Vegetable only, lettuce, carrot peels, cucumber skin. Second, fruits only. Banana peels, ap apple cores, orange rinds, 
Group 3, mixed ways, vegetables, fruit, and protein resources. Way the worms. Here from the fruit. fruit. We don't see the worms, so let's dig them up. No more harm, no more toil. We can all play our role to make the world sustainable. Weigh this, and then weigh this, and then give it, and then weigh it again. So, this here, this is one nine four eight. Let's put this down. One thousand nine hundred forty-eight grams. Here, it's this one. This one is five hundred and fifty-six grams. Now let's give it its food. Spread it around. Okay, now let's weigh the whole thing. Okay. Now it's 2369. 2369 grams, which is a lot. Now let's wait for tomorrow and see how much it will. and grow making food waste shrink real slow from trash to treasure they do their part creating feed that's super smart Experiment. The results are as follows. Food waste decomposition rate. BSF larva decomposes up to 78% of food waste within 7 days. BSF larva growth trends. Larva grew from 9mm on day 1 to 18.5mm on day 7. Fastest growth occurred between day 1 and day 4 before slowing down. Effect of different food waste types on growth. Mixed waste led to the best growth. Plus 0.565 grams, suggesting a bland diet. Fruit waste supported moderate growth, plus 0.453 grams. Vegetable waste resulted in the slowest growth, plus 0.368 grams. A protein-rich diet or mixed waste resulted in the highest growth. Vegetable waste alone led to the slowest growth due to low protein and fat. These results highlight BSF farming as a powerful solution for organic waste reduction and sustainable protein production. Its key byproducts include dried BSF larva, pupil casting larva exuvi, frass, and the keased adult black soldier flies. Eating larva a plant's diet helps them grow faster and process waste more efficiently. I use BSF grass as an organic fertilizer to feed my plants with roses, marigolds, chilies, and eggplants. It helps them grow strong and healthy. This data helps us understand how BSF larvae can be used on a larger scale to turn food waste into valuable resources. Imagine if more people used BSF farming, we could reduce so much food waste and create a more sustainable world.